to install uh, PyCharm on Linux, uh, you merely first need to go to uh, Google and just write download PyCharm. Then you go to JetBrains website and proceed to that. You will find here three tabs. Go to the Linux tab and then click the community version here. The community version is a free one. The professional one is a paid one. It might give you a list of requirements like your machine have to be 2 gig RAM. Just, just double check the requirements but in all cases just download it. Once you download it, you will have some file uh, compressed like .rdgs for example. Right click on and extract it or use a command to extract it and go to the extracted directory. Let's say by charm community 2020.3. And then open your terminal, for example with Control alt t Go to this directory. Let's say that the directory is that guy. Inside it, you will have some bin directory. Go inside it. There is a pycharm shell. So just run in the terminal this slash pycharm shell to open it. If it asks you to import setting, just say no for the first timers. So here is my um, here is my console. I go to the directory. Uh, if you ls, you can find the bin. Go to the bin, and then pycharm from it. So make sure to to run the pycharm from the bin directory, not from the original directory. Um, during running it, it might ask you about customizing the UI theme. Do you want uh, the code to appear in a back, dark background or light background? 70% of the developers supposed to use the dark background. On a personal level, I use the light one. It's up to you. It might ask you to install and download extra plugins. You just you can kind of skip that. You don't need it at the moment. That's all. Uh, some uh, troubleshooting. If it if if you, if, ru if running the bycharm file give you a permission denied error, then you probably just need to make it a read uh, an executable file. So right click on the bycharm uh, sh file and click here allow executing file as a program or 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 from a terminal if you would like to do that and try again. Um, if you are confused from any step here, uh, visit please this video. Otherwise, if you have some weird errors which might happen sometimes with these guys, just Google them. Most probably you will find a solution to the problem. That's all.